Hi everyone, so I'm here to talk you through my 2024 F2 car. Um, so, mainly the differences between last year's car and this one, uh, and some similarities as well. So starting off, we have the rear wing. Um, it creates a bit more drag, which means that hopefully the DRS is uh, a bit more effective. Um, so the racing and the overtaking should be slightly easier and uh, make it a bit more interesting for you guys at home. Next is the way the downforce is created with this car. Um, it's a lot more with the floor than the previous car. So here there is a lot of um, channels for the air to go under the car. And yeah, that's a bit different to the previous year. Hopefully it means that you're able to follow other competitors a bit more closely and um, yeah, in turn make the racing a bit better. Then we also have um, inside the car, you can't really see it, but we have some new safety measures. Um, so quite a lot of foam inside the car um, for driver safety in case of an accident. Um, we're a bit more protected on the inside. There's a few more things. Uh, we have a front intrusion panel as well, which is updated to current specification. And the side intrusion panels are, are stronger as well. Um, every time with a new car, they, they improve the safety. So that's always good for us. We go into the similarities with the, with the previous car. So they're not here, but we have the same tires uh, as previously, the same weight. So in the end, should be quite close in terms of lap time. Also the same engine, gearbox, suspension components. Um, so generally it's, it's a very similar car, um, but looks a bit more modern, a bit more in line with, uh, with current F1. So far we only have kind of the, the specifications on paper. We haven't actually run on track yet in anger. Um, so that's what this test will be about, to see uh, in practice how the car is compared to, compared to the previous one and try to optimize it before the first race and the, and the rest of the season as well.